Hi guys, today we went out to a local college just to uh, go and see an open day and uh, strangely enough we came back with some watermelons and uh, just discovered that we've got nowhere to plant them so uh, just thought about what we can do with them and uh, just came up with an idea to try the watermelons in deep water uh, hydroponics, uh, so suspended pot deep water hydroponics, just to see how they get on. So basically all I've done is um, put them into a net pot uh, and then I've used a dustbin, so let me just uh, go and show you what we've so done. So I grabbed one of the uh, the net pots off the potting bench um, and I've literally just taken it and planted in this melon. So you can see here it's just got lots of holes in the bottom of that. Standard net pot that you would uh, perhaps use from um, you know, a pond, uh, put pond plant in, that sort of thing. So you'll be able to get it from your, your local garden centre or pond supply, something like that. Uh, nice and easy to get hold of. So literally just put that up, put some uh, compost in there. So just standard uh, John Innes number two we've used here. Um, and it's looking a little bit sad there because it's uh, been potted on and obviously needs a bit of water. So uh, next thing I did was um, get a big pot to put the water so in. So I was trying to think of a pot that was big enough to put uh, water in for a melon because obviously it's going to need an awful lot of water. Uh, watermelons, uh, as their name suggests, do soak up a lot of water as they grow in uh, and putting out fruit. So uh, just got hold of a dustbin, um, you know, £10 uh, from local DIY shop and uh, took the, the lid and uh, uh, made a, a hole in the lid. There we go. Uh, nice and easy so just use a hacksaw or circular saw or jigsaw anything like that just to make uh, a hole just uh, big enough to drop the uh, net pot into with the watermelon and then literally that just sits on top of the bin there and then the bin is just completely full of water um, just added some nutrients in there so you can use um, you know, tomato food chili food um, anything like that just so long as it's got some food in there because that's exactly uh, what's going to be feeding the plant and obviously you know, water on its own is not going to be good enough so literally just take the pot with the melon in and just literally drop that into the hole make sure obviously the hole is not uh, not too big that the, uh, the melon falls through um, and literally the water and the nutrients there are just going to soak up through the holes in the bottom of that. The roots are going to put out and uh, it'll have some a little bit of gap at the top where roots can put out to get some air as well. And this is just suspended pot deep water hydroponics uh, on a slightly bigger scale for the watermelons rather than the chilies that we usually do here on the chili farm. So um, I will do an update uh, in a little while, uh, maybe a few weeks, uh, just to see how the melons are doing. Okay, thanks very much guys.